Oh, hello. Can we please talk about NFL fantasy football? Cover like looking forward to week 15, recapping week 14. So I'm going to be going through the results from the Orion Bowl Fantasy League, mostly for the fellas in the league. But if you want to follow on with all the drama and intrigue, feel free as well. This was going to be a quick video because I'm going to be honest, I don't feel tip top today. I don't feel tip top. So. Let's run through the Orion Bowl uh, entourage for week 50, for week 14. Sorry, uh, Vinny, the Vinny, the Vinny Chase <laughs> star of the show award goes to Derek Henry, who was the star of the show of a losing Titans team in uh, week 14. But he wasn't on two losing teams this week because the Indianapolis Colts they only went and did it. They beat the Legion of Mixon. Congratulations to the to the Colts there, the nice consolation victory. Let's see if you can get the first pick in the toilet bowl. Even if you, you might not even end up in the toilet bowl bracket yet, that you're in the consolation brackets. Let's see what you can do in the uh, in the postseason. So the Johnny Drama heavy lifting award goes to Miles Sanders, who did a lot of heavy lifting for Baby Got Dak, taking them to an important win over yours truly. Excellent win there, Dak. Uh, I'm not sure about bench it about just not having players in the lineup though it's not just you other people have done it this season as well uh, I, I don't know I, I don't like that I'm gonna I'm gonna initiate a vote because we are all about a democracy in this league but I'm gonna initiate a vote I feel like you should have to to field an entire team I, I don't I don't feel like just having gaps in your starting lineup so that you avoid the risk of getting minus points I don't think for me personally that's in the spirit of the game but it's not just you the harlots as well i spoke to the harlots about this last night how i don't like it but i'll put it to a vote anyway but you know what my vote is i'm going to vote that there's at least some sort of penalty for it do you know what i mean like you say you take a minus two for every gap in your starting lineup no because that would discourage people from doing it because otherwise the the tanking for first picks gonna be a mess isn't it uh anyway i'm getting getting distracted um the Turtle Award goes to the Harlots kicker, Butker. He was way better than expected, 10 points, and uh, I couldn't really find anyone else on their lineup to, to kind of speak much about because he did the same thing. He benched a couple of players. He could have put up a good score, but he benched a couple of players because he knew that he had... Because he he had a winning score against Namath, but if his defence had gone for minus, which they didn't, it wouldn't have made a difference either way. I just don't like it. I really don't. So... We'll put that to a vote and next season it might very well be that uh, there are penalties or repercussions or that if I see you're not uh, fielding a full team, I will just put them back in. I, I don't know. Uh, the E Terribleness Award goes to Giuseppe. Th third week in a row, he's put up zeros, snake eyes. It's starting to look like that uh, trade that he, he traded, <laughs> the Gorillas traded Herbert for Giuseppe. At a certain point, was Baby Got Dak just taking advantage of how disillusioned uh, the Gorillas had become with fantasy football at the time? That's, um, I think that's starting to become a fair statement. So, yeah. Uh, the playoffs are already set. In the uh, it, Congratulations to the coaches' sons, by the way, for the regular season champions. They are the regular season champions. They are now the belt holders. Uh, I think you've, already st you've still got the belt from the last time you held it. So I won't need to re-present the belt, but uh, you now officially hold the belt again. <laughs> and um, Then you've got in second place, you've got Baby Got Dak. Uh, that could change, but it probably won't because uh, Legion uh, aren't looking like beating them. And uh, there you've got myself in third place and the Harlots in fourth. That is your playoff picture. That ain't changing. Like, the order may change. Like, technically speaking, if I lose and the Harlots win, I think the Harlots leapfrog me. And then I would be playing the coach's sons in the semis and uh, Dak would be playing the Harlots. Uh, but I think the coach's sons, they'll want to avoid me. Because I, I, I don't need to remind you who the two in 13-2 and two is at the moment. That is just... This guy, uh, so one of the things I can hang my hat on this season is that I've beaten the, the Suns twice. Uh, yeah, so then, obviously, in the lower end of the table, you've got the Legion of Mixon, uh, Dan Stray Gorillas, uh, you've got the um, 
uh, team with no nameth who are, who are, who are going to be they're all going to be tanking for for that illustrious first pick tank for first pick that is the winner of the the toilet bowl bracket the winner of that game gets first pick not the loser because otherwise it would just be a case of people basically not playing anybody in their starting lineup is is We've been seeing people do this season, which I'm not a fan of. I don't like it. Uh, so then let's uh, just a quick, uh, if you didn't see it last night, I'm filming this on the Sunday, but last night, good Lord, that Vikings versus Colts got our hand, didn't it? Uh, biggest, uh, point, p biggest deficit overcome in history of the NFL. I also did have a little bet on it at halftime. I got uh, 21, 21 to 1 on it. And uh, the Vikings to come back. I put £2.50 on that, so I was pretty happy. I believe the coach of Suns also got like 33 to 1 on that. So, yeah, uh, good. It, it was a fun game. Wow, that was that was super fun. It was just like, I mean, the second half Vikings, they, they could they could do some real damage. First half Vikings, not so much. Or, I wasn't really so much betting on the Vikings. I was betting on the Colts to throw the win away. Is And that's a pretty safe bet this season, let's be fair. And so, the week 15, let's have a look forward to this. I am uh, the Burtmore Ravens taking on the team with no name. You've got, uh, what have I dog? Dalvin Cook's had a good game. 23 points, 95 yards rushing, 95 receiving, a touchdown. Uh, Kittle had a good game. I'll tell you what, um, one thing I would say for Kittle owners, you might not want Sam Debo to come back before the end of the regular season because if the result is Kittle putting up 20 plus points, then you'll kind of take that. So I, I have Debo, but I also have other options at wide receiver. So I'm like, I think I'd rather have Debo on the sidelines if it means that Kittle's going to put up those kind of numbers and I can still play um, other options uh, whilst Debo's out. Uh, Purdy had an okay game. Taylor had a terrible game. He went off injured. And Joku had a terrible game. Myers had an okay game. Uh, but I've still got Pat Mahomes, Pollard, McLaurin, Olave. Ooh. And uh, also, I picked up T.Y. Hilton just uh, for a laugh, really. And I figured that since there's no real stakes to this game, I might play him for a laugh. And I am up in the scores. I'm predicted to win. I think I'm going to back myself here as well. I think that I have the better matchups there. I've got some good players still left to play. And I'm ahead. I think that the Burt, the Burtmore Ravens take that one. Legion of Mixon versus Baby Got Dak. Uh, Mixon have played Brandon Ayuk, who did absolutely nothing. And Lockett, who had a pretty poor game, which has opened the door for Baby Got Dak. He's already had Chubb. And Jefferson's had a big game as well. Um, also the 49ers. D, Baby Got Dak wins that no problem. Absolutely no chance for the Legion of Mixon this week. Uh, not that there's any, there's, a, there's no stakes on this game anyway. Uh, or like I said, our, our, um, our league is set, our playoffs are set, but they might not be uh, for, for other people. So it's, it's worth keeping an eye on. For instance, if your playoffs aren't set and you have Dalvin Cook, then you'll be, you're a very happy Dalvin Cook fan this week. But uh, yeah, the Buffalo Bills for, yeah, we've got Dan Stray Gorillas against the uh, San Diego Harlots. Uh, got Allen, did 35 points. That's ridiculous. Uh, Giuseppe, 0.50. So he's, oh, I thought he was going to get four snake eyes in a row. He's still gone for four weeks without getting a whole point. That's 0.50 for four weeks. That is crazy. That is bad. Come on, stop playing Giuseppe. Stop playing Giuseppe. He's so bad. Uh, Pittman was okay. Bill's uh, defense were pretty poor. Dobbins was okay and Hill was okay. So this one's wide open. But, I mean, if if the Gorillas can build on that, uh, Foreman, Kamara, Higgins, they've got a chance. But I've got to, I've got to lean towards the San Diego Harlots here. San Diego Harlots to get the win uh, in a meaningless uh, game. <laughs> and then the Coaches' Suns versus the E-Indianapolis Colts for bragging rights. I, would, uh, I, I kind of want to see the Suns win because I want to be the only team to have beaten the Suns in the regular season. That's just, that selfishly, that is what I want. So I am going to go and pick the Coaches' Suns here because my picks are terrible. Uh, McCaffrey's already played. He's done all right. Uh, 19 points. Single Terry. Seven points. He's got Jamar Chase. Jalen Hurts probably got a big game this week. Uh, Mark Andrews, he did pretty trash, but... You got Derek Henry, G. Harris, Metcalf, and Waddle both put up. Uh, actually, they've done okay. Twenty-nine, but 
They've both got roughly 29 points. 29.90. They've both got 29.90. But, uh, and they've both played the same amount of players as well. You know what? This one's wide open. It's wide open, but I'm going to pick the Suns just because, I mean, look at how they've done this season. Like, you, It's a pretty safe bet every week, isn't it? So... I'll do a I'll do a show uh, this week, probably previewing the uh, the the semi-finals and the um, consolation brackets because we're getting to play our football. Play our football going to be a hell of a lot of fun. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. So those that I picked for this week, prove me right. Those that I picked against, prove me wrong. Or don't. Doesn't really matter in my league this week. It's kind of an anticlimactic video this because all the playoffs are already set and there are really no stakes at all. But I want to win anyway. I still want to win because you've got to want to win every time. Just feel the whole team. Feel, the, feel an entire like starting lineup is all I'd ask. Win with an entire... Like, believe it. Like, win with your players. Don't win with your players' absence. You know what I mean? Anyway, until next time, have a good week. See you later.